bit. So, so we're gonna go to Grand Plains to find this Mexican food place. Um, one of the subscriber actually suggested, so we'll check it out. So this is, this restaurant is in the middle of a subdivision. Um, oh yeah, we need to go today. Parking sucks here. So, but we'll, we'll try it out. So this place is called Eduardo's Taqueria and supposedly according to the pictures it looks like a very authentic Mexican restaurant but we were just over there passing by it is packed and it's about like five o'clock um, they close at six I believe so we'll see Was obviously not corn tortilla. Moving up flower side. So but we'll see what the taste looks like. Or tastes like. Yeah. Hey, we serve Michelada Michelada over here. They don't have horchata. No. There's no horchata. Yeah, overall it has an authentic feel. They even have what a little bit right in the back. <laughs> Smells good. Smells like Mexican food. right now that's serving and it's a packed house so we're just being patient here like I said it looks like it's a pretty um, authentic spot so we'll see we ordered the uh, tacos the steak tacos nachos uh, burrito uh, and then we'll see if uh, they have the um, carne asada fries that would be awesome Look, they even have the painting of Lady Guadalupe. So I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's authentic. What's your initial impression so far? Hungry. Uh, I'm hungry. Uh, I'm hungry. Uh, So we 
ask them like how long is it been? Is the restaurant even open? Well, the Eduardo started in 2014 and I think they only were doing like online um, ordering and all that stuff. This particular location just started last year. Um, because of what happened and stuff. So, but now they're getting busier. Um, according to some of the customers, it used to be um, chill, like not, not, not as busy, but because they gained some popularity and um, some customer base, and people are finding out about this. And of course, now that we're vlogging about this, they're probably going to get more busier than ever. So, it's just lately that we got really busy. Um, because people are finding out about this place. Again, it's in the middle of a subdivision. You won't know that they're here. Um, because it's residential area. Uh, parking uh, is not the greatest. So, you find your own parking. Yeah, that's on the street. So, we just looked at our... The, yeah, what you call it? The order. Somebody ordered nachos. And it's in a big casserole. <laughs> a huge order. And um, the taco salad, the steak taco salad, where we usually put it on a tortilla bowl and all that. Theirs is in a platter. Like, oh my god. It's huge. This might be something we could eat over here. That, uh, you know, if we miss home. Yeah. Yeah. That's a funny aesthetic. So clearly, clearly that's uh, flour taco. Oh, uh, that's shrimp. He doesn't like shrimp up there. Yeah, so clearly it's flour taco. It's not uh, corn. It's hard to find corn mm -hmm. over here. I'm talking about the... That. So this is the shrimp taco, this is the steak taco, like I said it's flour tortilla, we didn't have any, uh, it is flour, yeah, but it's not corn, and again this salsa is authentic. So that's the carne asada and fries, it's in the casserole, check that out. Mm. Very well bread. How does it taste? Does it taste like a like Mexican food? I don't know. It's good. It's good. Okay. The salsa is good. I make my own salsa too. That's good. Good salsa. Yeah. That shit, the salsa is so good. So just try their tacos. Kristen, there's That's a thing. Good. Grab it and put it in uh, your plate. Salsa is That's your decent. plate now. Um, the tortilla is a little hard. Um, this is what happens when it's out uh, um, for a long time and you can uh, really steam or uh, reheat the uh, the uh, tortilla, so it kind of hardens. You have to keep it in a tortilla <clears throat> warmer, especially with the flour tortilla. Yeah. This is would be my kind of taco because it's very you know simple. It has that you could taste it, the flavors. So I think we found a Mexican, a, a proper Mexican restaurant here in Iloilo. So there's two now? Yeah, so there's two Mexican restaurants now. One is Mestizo, which is like a piece, and, and uh, this one, which is like a proper Mexican. Um, obviously some of the ingredients you can't really find around here. So, but you could, this is as close as you can get. If they can call this place a taqueria, I think it... Yeah, so this is like a proper taqueria where you 
So the other thing about this one is, oh, yeah. is yeah. compared to the mm -hmm. other Mexican mm -hmm. place, they mm -hmm. have, they use um, cilantro. And it's hard to find cilantro around here. You have to grow it yourself. The salsa is good. It tastes like um, El Toritos <laughs> salsa. <laughs> so it's good. Another one, más saboroso. What do you think, Preston? So we're just waiting for our burrito now. Let's try it out. So. And uh, we'll ask a few more questions um, about this place and uh, let you guys know because, like I said earlier, Mexican restaurants are hard to come by. There's some that are kind of like it, but it doesn't taste anything like Mexican food. So, we're really uh, interested in this restaurant so I can't remember who the subscriber was but thank you for referring us to this if you're watching and to one of our viewers that was uh, that's coming over to Iluilo this coming week we found your Mexican restaurant that you were, that you were asking about I'm in the my that might be so this is the burrito, the steak burrito, and you got <coughs> shrimp and turkey burrito. It's like steak and shrimp. Yeah. Okay. Wait, do you want one more so steak burrito? So this one's steak, and I think they they have a lettuce in the burrito. That's the shrimp and turkey. I don't see any rice. So this burrito might, might be a uh, rice plus. Oh, there is, is there is rice. There is rice. Oh, there That's is not rice. rice. Is that rice? That's not rice. That's yeah. cheese. That's cheese, huh? No rice, right? No rice? Yeah, I'll take it. So the burrito is pretty good, but minus the Spanish fries. Um, it's okay, but the uh, seasoning that they use on this one, uh, it seems like a taco seasoning. Um, Just my hands on. <laughs> 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 Is this good? No. <laughs> so what did you marry this about? Huh? How did they come about? So her brother um, used to live in San Francisco, California. And he worked, I believe in Vallejo, which is like 10 minutes from our old place. And her brother was a chef, and she he basically um, got the recipe from one of his co-workers who is Mexican. And that's when he came home in 2014, he put this up. Yeah, and they can't do corn tortilla because of supply, it's hard to find corn flour here. Iloilo, and they used to have a supplier in Manila but when the you know corn tortilla is very fragile mm -hmm. that when it gets here when they order it um, falls it apart. falls apart so, so you have to like that's why a lot of these taquerias they, they make it themselves yeah one place where we go is they do um, 
corn and flour. They so, mix it. so it holds it up. Oh, well, it yeah. holds up better. So you have the corn, but it has the flour to you know, hold it together. But yeah. So now the brother lives here and makes Mexican food. So we are back home from Eduardo's uh, taqueria, which is the pretty much authentic restaurant, Mexican restaurant here in Iloilo. Uh, Mestizo is pretty good too, but they're more of a fusion. This one is a, a real taqueria, um, really small place. It's in the middle of the subdivision, um, but the chef itself learned the recipe from a Mexican back in California and um in Vallejo so out there it's from the bay shout out to the bay area home of E40 Vallejo so uh yeah try it out when you guys are here uh especially people from the states expats and all that if you guys are looking for Mexican restaurant here in Iloilo check out Eduardo's uh taqueria in uh, Haro inside Grand Plains subdivision. So really great. Um, the owner was, uh, <laughs> one of the owners actually kind of overwhelmed because uh, she was short staff, um, but she did pretty good. Anyway, so, what? why are you panting? <laughs> Is it that hot? You want to go outside? I want Eduardo's, Daddy. You too? You want Eduardo's? <laughs> we didn't bring you any. We don't want you to be farting. <laughs> anyway, so um, thank you for all the subscriber. Comment down below if you guys know of any Mexican restaurant around here um, in Iloilo um, that we haven't tried yet. Um, even in Manila or in Cebu, because we all we go to those places as well, and we'll, we'll check it out. Um, so thank you for all the subscribers, uh, all uh, the viewers. Thank you for liking the videos, and I'll see you guys on the next.